Introducing Iro. What is Iro? Iro is a new IPFS implementation written in Rust. We just put out a new release, our first release, version 0.1.0. If you saw Brendan's talk this morning in the big room, you saw them push the button. Very exciting. Thank you. It is compatible with Kubo. Who's it built by? Built by folks at number zero. We are a group of IPFS community veterans. So we've been around, we have opinions. It's platform specific. So our uh, release today was specifically aimed toward the cloud, which means it is um, comprised of microservices that split out the different concerns, the major concerns that we have in IPFS um, so that they can be scaled independently. Coming soon is a mobile implementation and a desktop-specific implementation. Demo time. All right, so let's see. Is this possible to read? Sorry, folks. OK. Oh, hold on. Ah, oh, shit. OK. So let's start with just the help text. These are the different commands that you can run to interact with Iro. In order to interact with Iro, though, you need to start the different services. And you do that with the Iro start command. And uh, it'll launch the different services. Now let's try to fetch some content from our gateway. We're going to grab this CID. And um, our gateway is localhost 9050. That's configurable. And let's see how, ah, oh, great. Obligatory weird fucking cat picture that you have to do in your, thank you. Um, OK, so let's stress test this gateway now. We're going to bombard it with uh, basically bajillion connections. And I'm going to throw up HTOP here so that you can see how it's affecting um, my laptop when I was doing this demo. As you can see, uh, if you can see, the CPU is pretty high, um, but our memory usage is relatively low. If you can't see it, look at it in the slides on the, the download. And we had um, about an average of 8,000 requests a second and a throughput of just under a gig. So um, let's see if that destroyed, uh, destroyed anything here. We're going to run IRO status, which gives us the status of the different services. And ah, we have the gateway and the store running, but we don't have the P2P node up. If you were paying attention to the IRO start command, you would have seen that it actually only started up the gateway in the store. So how were we able to fetch that content without being connected to the peer-to-peer -peer network? Well, our gateway that you will, you are able to, um, the gateway is configured to hit, um, it is configured to race different gateways and instead of having to go through the peer-to-peer -peer network. Here we have, we were racing between uh, dweb.link and our own gateway, gateway.lol, which I'm very happy we have that URL. Um, but let me pause here. Uh, I don't do Keybase well. So why am I not able to pause? Anyone? Oh, here we go. That's why. I have to like mystery do this. All right, well, you know what? You're just going to watch the beginning while I talk to you about this decision. So. Um, IRO's primary purpose is to write efficient, I'm sorry, number zero's primary purpose is to write efficient software. How we knew that when y'all were going to be running this demo, when you all run this demo later on your own, on your laptops. So we needed to make sure that whatever defaults we had were nice to your computer. You shouldn't have to worry about this software running. I'm actually running um, this configuration on my laptop right now. And you shouldn't have to worry that it's taking up resources. So until our P2P um, node is up to our standards, we have it configured uh, to be off by default. You can change that in your own configurations if you want your own setup to do IRO start. Um, and, uh, but because we are set up with the microservices, we can actually turn on and off the P2P node or any of these uh, microservices without interrupting 
anything else in Iroh. It does mean, however, since our P2P node is not um, running, that any peer-to-peer -peer commands will error out. And that will be demonstrated in a second. I timed that really well somehow. Um, so yeah, or I didn't. We'll see, it'll come up. Okay, so you're about to see <laughs> something new. <laughs> cool, so the Iro P2P peers command, which should list your peers, will come back in error because the P2P node isn't currently running. It gives you a hint, try start P2P, uh, try Iro start P2P, let's run that. Cool, we're set up. Okay, let's look at this peers command, see who we're connected to here. And the Iro peer-to-peer -peer peers command will give you a list of the multi-adders of the peers you're connected to. We're gonna grab one and we're going to look up information about that peer with the Iro P2P lookup command. You can use a multi-hash or um, a peer ID. And here you can see this is a Kubo node. Um, there's, we have its peer ID and some protocols it speaks. Let's add some content to Iro. And okay, that was, very quick, but if you saw, we had some beautiful progress bars, and we added about 300 megabytes of uh, video data to IRO. We're gonna grab this CID, and we'll check it out on the gateway. If you notice, um, these IRO def defaults to using um, CID v1, so if those CIDs look different, that's why. And in honor of us all being here together in Lisbon, I uploaded some beautiful Lisbon drone data uh, to the network here. Okay, I promised you interop with Kubo. So let's check that out. We're going to um, run the Kubo daemon, and then in a new terminal, try to fetch that data. Cool, daemon's running. And while we're fetching here, if you guys want to install Iro on your machine, head to iro.computer slash install. Iro.computer is our website. Um, there will be, there is installer scripts that will basically download uh, the version of Iro that will play nice with good defaults for your laptop. And please file any bugs that you find um, at our repo. Okay, cool. So one, two last, like, I don't know, I think they're fun bits. Let's check out, um, if you want to monitor your status instead of just having it one off, you can do irostatus.-w, and we can actually watch, uh, this will like take in the real-time data of your, of your um, processes that are running, and you can run irostop to close these processes. So let's watch it in action. And as each process stops, we get the report back from our watch. All right, cool. So to recap, try Iro. Grab it at iro.computer slash install. File bug reports at our repo. This was Iro uh, specifically made focus toward Iro Cloud. So Iro comes built for the cloud. That's where our microservice architecture can really shine. There's a lot of config to beef up the individual um, uh, services on bigger machines. It has metrics collection, universal trace IDs built in, so you can hook into something like Prometheus and Grafana for fun dashboards like this. This is from our own gateway. Um, if you want to deploy this in the cloud, please come talk to us. We can help. Here's some caveats. This is a 0 0.1. Uh, here's what you can't do with Iro right now. You can't delete stuff. That's coming soon. There are, um, we don't have any pinning or what we're calling caching strategies built in yet. And we don't currently have Windows support. There's also um, a nasty bug if you are adding deeply nested directories that causes some data not to be persisted. It's, we're, there will be patch releases that will fix these issues. What's next for IRO? Horizontal scaling for each service in the cloud. We're gonna work on IRO Mobile, which is IPFS for your app, 
and IRO1 IPFS for your computer. So we are planning a desktop-specific implementation of IRO that comes as a, sing as a single binary that can take advantage of um, using channels to talk between um, processes. And in the meantime, our install script that I pointed you to configures cloud with um, sensible defaults for the desktop. Where can you learn more? We work in the open. That is our GitHub directory. If you want to ask us a question, please use our discussions. If you want to chat um, GitHub discussions, check out our website. That is also where we have our docs, so iro.computer slash docs. And please follow us on Twitter for updates. And also, we are hiring. So if you are a Rust engineer who wants to build IPFS, come talk to us. Thank you. <laughs>